Oh, stop, will you? Oh, lover. Oh, put a sock in it, Paddy. Oh, leave me alone. It's lovely. My vacuum cleaner makes a better noise than that, and it picks up dirt as well. I don't know what it's coming to. Honestly, I really don't know what it's coming to. Oh, look out, Rich. Here, Carol, you should have been here at eight o'clock. Why, what happened? <laughs> I've had a letter from my bill. Oh, yeah. oh there's Ooh. no surprise. The ship's coming in any moment. I didn't expect a letter as well. Oh, what's that? Oh, hold on a minute. I don't know myself yet. Where are... Oh, I'm all of a dead that I always am when I get a letter. Um, my dearest, darling, gorgeous Carol. Oh! <laughs> oh, nobody ever called me that. <laughs> Look out, girls. I'm going to work the press. Oh, no, you don't. Look, Rich, you know, as well as I do, that pipe hasn't been repaired yet. Every time you use that press, we get drenched. Water comes streaming out all over the place. Oh, Paddy, don't exaggerate. It's a little moisture that comes from the pipe. Besides, I've got to get on, you know. Brothers, Ridge is about to use the press. Action station! Oh, Take evasive action and stand by with the bucket. Oh. <laughs> must protect me booth, Aunt. <laughs> right. <laughs> There you are, you see, we're absolutely soaked. Red, you can start the press now, ready. Oh, Lily's finished. Yes, I want you to come. Lily, you're not at Ascot now, you know. Put that thing down. Oh. oh. <laughs> Relax. Hello, Noddy, where's Big Ears? <laughs> you mean your foreman, he's over there. Reg, come over here a minute. Yes. Carol, take that thing off. Now, Reg, I think I'm entitled to a word of explanation. Well, thank you, that was a lovely word. <laughs> now, look here, Mr. Fenner, every time Reg operates that press, we get absolutely drenched. And as shop steward of it the Fenner Workers up again, Union... Has it? Yes, it has, Mr. Fenner. But the factory inspector is paying us another visit. He's probably coming today. Well, I should probably be able to distract the inspector's attention from the press, but I, he's bound to hear that noise. You want to hear this noise? <laughs> Here, that's an idea. Hey, Paddy, why don't you get the girls to sing? You just told me to build up. Yeah, I know, but get them to sing and that'll drown the noise of the pipe. <laughs> Excellent. A simple and effective remedy. Yes, well, I shall have to put that to my executive committee. With one big snag. I take it I've got your permission to withdraw from being a consult. Brother Carol, Brother Lily, gather round. Do you mind? Now, brothers. The management is in dead trouble, and as loyal employees, there's only one thing we can do. Exploit the situation to the full. <laughs> so now is the time that we can get that new basic rate he's been promising us. Therefore, I propose that we sing only as he gives in. Oh, I don't know that one. How's it go? <laughs> oh, Lily, you're not paying attention to the agenda. Now, any questions? No, right, let's take a vote on that then. Well, what are we voting for? Question time's over. Put your hand up, I'll tell you later. Right, all in favour? Right, motion carried, dismissed. Mr Fenner, after due consultation with my brothers, I've managed to persuade them to agree to sing, provided you undertake to review the new basic rate before the end of the week. But that's extortion. Oh, no, it is Of course, it is. There's no other way. Mr. For it, Paddy. Fenner, no, Paddy, do you please. Mind? You can't do you this to me. You are asking us to I step can... across Paddy, the union demarcation. Paddy, it is extortion. Do you mind? Look, no other way. It's all here in the union rule book. Here it is. We don't sing and the Luton Girls Choir don't make dresses. <laughs> How do I know that the girls can sing loud enough to drown the noise of that pipe? Oh, so now you're doubting our ability, are you? Right. Brothers, get ready. Reg, start the press. Now. I told you it'd work, Mr. Fenner. Well done, Reg. <laughs> the Fenner Fashion Glee Club. Yeah. You couldn't hear this shower for this shower. <laughs> Paddy, I am deeply touched by your cooperation. Naturally, we will discuss the new rate later, but in the meantime, when the inspector comes, whatever you do, keep singing. Yeah, we'll sing, but if you don't mind, no duets. <laughs> Just your word about the basic rate. Girls, the inspector may be coming at any minute, so we must make a good impression. So don't forget that. 
Uh, Lily, you'd better tidy up a bit. Uh, make the restroom look a little less lived in. Uh, don't go mad, you know, just do your best. Brush out the basins and uh, rub the towels down with a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Right, girls, come on, back to work. Wait a minute, I haven't finished my lesson yet. Yeah, well, all right then. Do that. Well, put, put it in, in the bucket. That's it. We'll get moving. Yeah. Now. Right. now then, where was I? So I'm looking forward to seeing you very soon, and to the time when we can. Oh, <laughs> go on, Carol. What's now, that be censored. Who said that? I did. Then, Mum, we can imagine that bit, can't we, Lil? No. <laughs> well. Last night we were in Port Said. We went to a cabaret and a girl stood there doing a wobbly dance in trousers and saucepan lids and I thought about you. <laughs> Fancy standing in saucepan lids. <laughs> Must have been very big to get a feet into them. Oh, no, no here we are. Um, I will be home on the 8th. You are the 8th? The 8th, yeah, yeah. that's the day. Oh, no! Oh, he don't give you much warning, does oh. he? And I want you to do me a favour. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you mind? <laughs> On my last leave, I ordered a new great flannel suit from Sharples, the tailors in the high street. Could you please collect it? I am enclosing a money order for £15. Well, where is it? I can't see no money order. Oh, it must be in the envelope. Well, I'll do that in the bucket. Where's the bucket? Well, Lil was starting up. Lil, have you seen the bucket? The bucket? Then there's 15 quid from Bill in it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I thrown 15 quid down the drain. Oh, no! Where's he gone to? Down the river by now. I can't tell you what he'll do to me when he finds out. Go on, tell us. Oh, shut up, man. Oh, no, look. Somebody will have to lend me 15 quid. Oh, oh, oh Reg. On a Thursday, are you kidding? Oh. Yeah, Carol. Yeah? That suit Bill ordered was grey flannel, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, skirts, we're making a grey flannel worsted. Here, um, Reg. What? Uh, you can get another three and a half yards from the stock room. Look, you're not having an, any of any stock to oh, make Bill a suit. Reg, Besides, Reg, it's locked Reg, and Reg. I've got the key. Girls, get that key. No, you're rotten oh, key. No, 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 no. Trying on the suit we made for Bill. Well, trousers anyway. Reg, in the restroom? Yeah, well, it's the only place you can be sure Fenner wouldn't catch him. Come on, Reg, come on, let's get out of butcher. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, though I say it myself, I think we've done a marvellous job. <laughs> Savile Row couldn't have done better. Savile Row? You mean Rotten Rock? I get all shit here. <laughs> Yeah, try the jacket on, Reg. Oh, do us a favour, will you? Just throw us a couple of sleeves on the trousers. You won't need a jacket. <laughs> Girls, I've just had a phone call from a pal of mine down the road. The inspector is doing his rounds. Now, Lily, you'd better go and do the restroom now. Oh, yes, all right, Mr. Well done, Lily. Uh, <laughs> Reg? What are you doing in there? <laughs> well, um, um, uh, you see, uh... They're, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. They're my new trousers, and uh, yeah, it's all right. I bought them in the uh, my lunch hour. What with lunch vouchers? <laughs> what did you want to put them on now for? With the inspector coming, he'll think I've been starving you. Yeah, well, the old ones weren't any good. They were all ripped and torn, you know, and uh, and I had to throw them away. You can't wait, though. I mean, roll them up, uh, tuck them down, do something. Yeah, you yeah, know, I, for I will. I'll, I'll do that, Mr. Penner. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll sort of tuck them to... Yeah, I'll, not, I'll do it. Look, <laughs> this is a good idea, see? And, uh... Oh, that's no good. You look like a mailbag. <laughs> <laughs> Hang around like that, you'll get stolen. <laughs> now, girls, we must make a good all-round impression on the inspector. Now, I've got the whiskey and cigars out, so that should put him in a good mood. Yeah, and... I'll clear the rubbish in the restroom. Well done, Lily. Now, let's work on the entrance hall. Yeah, Get cracking now, girls. The lunch hour finished hours ago. You've got work to do. Now, come along, girls. Don't sit around slacking. You heard what he said. We've got work to do. Go on, get out Bill's jacket. Reg, slip into the restroom and get out of those trousers. Put on your old ones. Yeah, go on. Oh, Mr. Fenner, shall I throw these away? I found them on the restroom floor. These are Reg's old working trousers. What are they doing in the restroom? Oh, I don't know, Mr. Fenner. Well, I knew that Reg had his moments, but I didn't know the girls had taken to collecting his old clothes for souvenirs. <laughs> well, he said they were no good. Throw them away, Lily. Uh, no, uh, second thoughts, we'd better keep them. Use them as dusters. <laughs> After all, they've collected enough dust while he's been sitting around here. 
They might as well collect a bit more. <laughs> That'll be the inspector. Now, as soon as he comes, offer him the whiskey and the cigars. Don't let him refuse, because he loves his booze. And as for the cigars, he'll start off by saying he doesn't smoke and end up by taking the whole box. <laughs> Yes? Uh, I'm Miss Rawlings, the new factory inspector for this district. Uh, the, 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 the factory inspector? But, but what, what about Mr. Blackstock? My predecessor. Oh, he was uh, retired. A nice old fellow, but not up to it, really. He was letting a few people get away with things. Uh, well, I, I'm sure you'll find everything quite satisfactory. Uh, I mean, my girls are all very contented, you know. Do sit oh, yes. down. Thank you. And uh, if by any chance you should see a nice little dress that you think might suit you, don't hesitate to have a word with me about it. I'm sure we could arrange a little discount of about 90%. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Fenner, but there can be nothing like that. Uh, Mr. Fenner, these are for the factory inspector. <laughs> this is Miss Swan, a good worker, but a little confused. Uh, shall I pour the whiskey? I don't drink. Oh, go on. Uh, Mr. Fenner said you loved your booze. <laughs> Not you, of course. Well, would you like a nice cigar? <laughs> no, thanks. I'm trying to give them up. <laughs> and I'll bet you'll end up by taking the box. <laughs> hey, Patty. I'm busy. Come out. I can't. I'll stand here in my shirt. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I can't find my trousers. And now, listen. Which one of you girls have knocked them off? Oh, Riggs, if we do a thing like that. Yeah, what's the good of a pair of men's trousers? This is a man in them. <laughs> listen, it's, it's nothing to laugh at, you know. I'm standing here barefooted, up to my waist. <laughs> well, come on, Paddy. Let me have uh, let me have Bill's pair back again. You're too late, mate. They needed altering, so we ripped them. These will take at least a half an hour to finish off. Uh, this is Miss Rawlings, the new factory inspector. <laughs> this is the workroom, Miss Rawlings. These are my girls, a small but dedicated group. Their exteriors are rough and ready, as you see, but beneath them beat hearts of pure gold. Great. Well, now, Mr. Fenner, Mr. Blackstock, who last inspected this factory, reported certain faults in the steam press mechanism. Of course, they've now been rectified. Oh, yes, of course. We had the engineer dashing in here almost immediately. In fact, they practically collided on the doorstep. Very nearly a nasty accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, would you just operate the press for me, please? Yes, uh, normally, of course, Reg, my foreman, does that, but fortunately I am conversant with all the machinery. I thought I felt a wee drop of water. Probably a few tears. Good singing always affects me, you know. <laughs> yes, well, I think perhaps I'd like to inspect the restroom. Reg is in the restroom. You'll have to sneak him out. I'll keep her here. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fenner, when I finish in there, I'd like to have a word with your foreman. <laughs> foreman, yes. That'll be Reg. Uh, where's Reg? Um, uh, he went uh, that way, Mr. Fenner. Um, Miss Rawlings. We do appreciate your conscientiousness and that, but you don't need to go in there, really. Oh, it's no trouble at all. It's my job, and one never knows what one might find, does one? No, one doesn't. Uh, you might like to look at that ventilator oh, over yes. there. It uh, lets in the air, you know. I'm going to sneak in now. But he's got no trousers on. Yeah, well, well don't look. <laughs> Reg, oh. the factory inspector's here, and... She's a woman. It's all right, Carol. We're all girls together. <laughs> oh, you changed. Well, what do you expect me to do? I couldn't find me trousers. Somebody's pinched them. It's a good job I found Lil's over on an old pair of your shoes. <laughs> Now, that won't make any difference, will it? Look, if I stand behind this sink, she won't notice me, and I'll... Look, how do I look? Look. Well, what have you got in your face? It's a powder out of this tin. Mascarin powder! <laughs> <laughs> you nits! Well, it won't hurt. It's not for faces, it's for basins. Well, it won't hurt. I'll take it off in a minute. Yeah, take your skin off and all. Well, it won't, will it? Yes! Well, I've got to have something on my face. I didn't have much of a shame. I don't want to. Let's What's have some it? of this beauty cream on. Oh, yeah, go on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, it's all going on, isn't it? Yeah, nice. <laughs> 
There you are. Yeah. When you've got that on, nobody will know you need a shave. Oh, is that why you have it? <laughs> oh, you're an alcohol fool. <laughs> well, we do appreciate your interest, but really there's no need to waste your time like well, this, you well, know. Well, 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 someone having a little beauty treatment during working hours. Uh, <laughs> yes, well, uh, mm, uh, she's very worried about her complexion, you see, and she's got this very special date tonight, mm. haven't you? Yeah, that's right. She's going out with a sailor, isn't he? No! <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what she means is, isn't the sailor lucky to be going out with her? No, not me, him. I mean, um, he was lucky to be going out with her. <laughs> but you know, they're all very nervous being caught like this sort of during working hours. So uh, we'd be very polite if you didn't mention this to Mr. Fenner, because you see, if Fenner caught her dolling herself up like for this special date, He'd give her the sack. Oh, I can't believe that. It doesn't seem that bad. Yes, but uh, just don't say anything, will you? Because you see, uh, Ben is jealous of her. Oh, so that's it. Don't say another word. I know. <laughs> I know all about these gown manufacturers. He, uh, does he annoy you? Uh, no, we're only just very good friends. <laughs> Me, uh, Lily. Oh, Lily. Um, oh, yes. Uh, well, we see, we usually call her Lil. Oh, Lil. Uh, well, excuse me, dear, but you're putting on far too much of that cream. No complexion can be as bad as all that. Oh, it is. It's, it's very rough. It's really shocking. It needs two coats. <laughs> yes, well, um, um, I think you've seen about all you need to see oh, now. Ma there's no need to be so jumpy. Well, you carry on, Lily, and don't mind me. <laughs> now, there's just one or two things here. The uh, yes. provision for outdoor clothes. Oh, yes, you know, it's all well, there, you yes, see. Yes. Towels. Oh, towels. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Uh, hot water. Oh, boil it. Mm, steaming, yeah. 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 There's the Red Cross there. Yeah, you and uh, no leakage in the No, nothing like that. Thank right. you very much. We're very grateful. Thank you. This is all for your good. Yeah, of course it is. I mean, we appreciate it. If there's anything here that's not exactly as it should be, I shall send in a report describing it fully. That should make interesting reading. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? I can't understand this. Red seems to have vanished. Somebody must know where he is. Well, he was here just after lunch. You saw him yourself, Mr. Fenn. He had his new trousers on. Um, well, I know his new trousers were big, but he couldn't have disappeared inside them. Uh, get back to work. I don't know what this place is coming to. I've lost materials, trimmings, buttons, belts, but I've never lost a foreman before. <laughs> Lily, nip in there and ask Paddy where Red is. All right. Yes, that seems to be all right. Oh, dear, isn't that a nuisance? Just look at my skirt. The wretched pipes must be covered in grease. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Fenner's <laughs> looking for red. Oh! <laughs> He's not here. He's not here, Lil. Oh, that looks like a bottle of cleaning fluid. Would you mind handing it down to me, Lily? Of course, yes. <laughs> Uh, no, no, not you, dear. Let Lily do it. She's taller than you. Yes, now, <laughs> Are you all right? No, no, she's not herself. No, um, she's overworked. You see, all this tidying up for your visit. Oh, it's always the same. Oh, thank you, Lily. I beg your pardon? I just said thank you, Lily. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. <laughs> oh, dear, this is no good. There's only one thing for it. I'll have to take my skirt off and do it properly. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it's private in here, isn't it? It's against the regulations for it not to be. <laughs> oh, no, don't! Not in front of... In front of what? The window. <laughs> oh, very well. I'll move over here. It won't take a minute. Uh, yes, well, um, I think it's high time we girls got back to work. All of us. Oh, girlies. Oh, oh hello, girlies. Dear. Do take some of that grease off your face. You'll clog your pores. Oh! <laughs> you know, I, I can't go in there. Pad or bash into thinner. Yeah, well, at least you'll have his skirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Uh, <laughs> Isn't it marvellous? My girls spend half their time in the restroom. One girl goes in there, sends a postcard to the rest, having wonderful time, wish you were here. <laughs> now, Paddy, last time you saw Red, you yeah. said that he was going that way. <laughs> Reg, has working with these girls affected you in some way? <laughs> 
No, you see, uh, uh, Mr. Fenner, it, it, it's a very long story. And Tall, too, isn't it? No. Uh, you see, I was in there. Uh, you don't mean the, the factory inspector has seen you looking like this? Uh, yes. Oh, but it's all right because uh, she thinks I'm Lily, you know. <laughs> Lily? <laughs> Have you gone raving mad? Yes, somebody called. <laughs> Well, no, you see, I didn't have me trousers and I got trapped in there. Excuse me, Mr. Fenner, but... Is, uh, uh, everything all right, Miss Rawlings? Well, not really, no, just a wee accident. Accident? Uh, what sort of accident? Well, just a wee spot of grease on my skirt. I suppose you haven't any more of that cleaning fluid. Oh, yes, yes, sir. We have thank you. Oh, thank you, Lily. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just stand there, Rach. Get out of those ridiculous clothes. I can't. I haven't got anything to put on. Typical. Just like a woman never got anything to wear. <laughs> Look, get lost, disappear. We can't risk her seeing you like that again. Can't she want to know where I've gone to? Well, I'll tell you, you've been taken ill. You've gone home to your husband. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't tell her. She knows I haven't got a husband. Well, I can't very well tell her you've gone home to your wife. <laughs> disappear! <laughs> it's all very well you telling me to disappear. I haven't got anywhere to disappear to. <laughs> hello, hello. Here, uh, do us a favour, blue eyes. Yeah. How would you like a belt up the Utah? <laughs> well, I mean, if all the girls around here are like you, I'm off back to sea. Here, where's my Carol? She's in there. Oh, so. times must I tell you, you cannot entertain during working hours. But he's my fiancé. All right, you can spend just a minute with him, no more. Oh, do me a favour. He's been away for six months. I haven't seen him. Well, a minute should be plenty. When you've been on a diet for a long time, a big meal isn't good for you. <laughs> Are you joking? You heard his letter. He's just come from a country where they kill people for five bob. I say, Pat, will you come with me in case he starts yeah, something? Yeah, all right. I'll bring the girls as well. We can handle him. Come along, brother. Uh, get back now. You can't all go and see Bill. It's Carol he's engaged to, not the union. <laughs> tea break. Oh. All that singing's made us thirsty. Your tea break is at four o'clock. Don't worry, we'll be back in time for that one as well. We're having two today. <laughs> well, Lily, you're not very bright, but you are loyal. Aren't you going? No, I'd like to have my tea by myself. I feel all mixed up this afternoon. Hello, Bill. Oh, hello. The girls have heard so much about you, they all wanted to say hello. Oh. Hello. 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 Yeah. Carol, you got my letter, didn't you? Yes, now, I Now, about a new suit. Yeah, well, you see, you haven't said hello to me properly yet, Bill. Oh, yeah, yeah, later, Carol. Now, now, about this new suit. Well, the suit, yeah. <laughs> oh, hello, Bill. Oh, you don't need a new suit. Your uniform's lovely. Oh, thanks. But, Carol, yeah. about a new suit. Oh, you see, I don't think... Hello, 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 Come on, come along. No, you're too young. <laughs> Miss Rawlings, everything all right? Oh, yes, yes, but my skirt's still a wee bit damp. It needs drying out. Would you mind operating the press for me, please? Of course, anything you say, Miss Rawlings. The press, that might be a little difficult. The uh, union, you know, because Reg, my foreman, is the official press puller down, and I'm not. But uh, I'll have a word with him. Ridiculous nonsense, I can work that thing myself. Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 please don't. Oh, no, don't. You trouble yourself to do it. It's just not to believe. Oh, oh, no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, 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 o
jealous? Furthermore, it will only add to your thirst. She wants to work the press. Oh, Where's Reg? Oh. You've got to find Reg. <laughs> Excuse me, will you? Here, Carol, I must talk to you. It's about my new suit. You don't need a new suit, Bill. But I've already got it. I picked it up myself. Well, what about the money order? Well, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I forgot to put it in the letter. Oh, Bill! <laughs> I hope I didn't put you into any trouble. Oh, here, all right. That's enough breaking up. Oh, oh Mr. Penn, I'm the handle over, Mr. Penn. I'm the Rawlings, dear. Mr. Penner, this will have to be reported. I'm soaked. You'll be hearing more about this. I'll fix it, Mr. Penner. Oh. Lily, you're a man. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be hearing more about this as well. Fancy putting a man in the restroom to spy on me. Well, really. Hello, hello. You must be one little darling I missed. <laughs> I've never had anything like this happen to me before. I know, it's my bill. He's good at it, isn't he? <laughs> Mr. Penner, this is the last straw. I've been deceived in your workshop, humiliated in the restroom, and now manhandled in your entrance hall. Good luck, mate. You've still got the car park to go to. <laughs> well, I suppose now she'll put it around that I'm inefficient. And it's all your fault. Hey, Bill, you better go. Yeah, all Bye. right. I'll see you later, yeah, Carol. Goodbye, darling. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's knocked oh, out. Oh. You better get him some water. Yeah, well, let's take him in the workroom. There's plenty there. Put a sock in it, Paddy. Oh, leave me alone. It's lovely. My vacuum cleaner makes a better noise than that, and it picks up dirt as well. I don't know what it's coming to. Honestly, I really don't know what it's coming to. Oh, look out, Reg. Here, Carol. You should have been here at eight o'clock. Why? What happened? <laughs> yeah. I've had a letter from my bill. Oh, yeah. I said, no surprise. His ship's coming in any moment. I didn't expect a letter as well. Oh, what's the say? Oh, hold on a minute. I don't know myself yet. Where are... Oh, I'm all of a day that I always am when I get a letter. Um... My dearest, darling, gorgeous Carol. Oh! Oh, nobody ever called me that. Oh. Look out, girls, I'm going to work the press. Oh, no, you don't. Look, Rich, you know, as well as I do, that pipe hasn't been repaired yet. Every time you use that press, we get drenched. Water comes streaming out all over the place. Oh, Paddy, don't exaggerate. It's a little moisture that comes from the pipe. Besides, I've got to get on, you know. Brothers, Rich is about to use the press. Action station, take evasive action, and stand by with the bucket. I must protect me booth, aunt. Right. There you are, you see, we're absolutely soaked. Red, you can start the press now, ready. Oh, Lily's finished. Oh. Lily, you're not at Ascot now, you know. Put that thing down. Oh! Relax. <laughs> Hello, Noddy, where's Big Ears? You mean your foreman, he's over there. Reg, come over here a minute. Carol, take that thing off. Now, Reg, I think I'm entitled to a word of explanation. Well, thank you, that was a lovely word. <laughs> now, look here, Mr. Fenner, every time Reg operates that press... We